Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course you're the number one online TV show and guys today we are having Oga Obina. Of course guys you've been seeing a lot of stories zimekuwa zikitembea sana hapa kwa mtandao and I decided wacha nimtafute tupige naye story kidogo atuambie hii maneno inakuaje. Anyway Obina umeachana na utaki ruskoko. How are you? I'm fine you. I'm good. I'm good yeah. Umesema wewe na Roscoco hapana. Nimesema wapi? Mm. <laughs> I never said such a thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, there is this story that uh, caught us off guard on internet between you and uh, Johnny. I would like to know first of all, do you uh, do you know him? No, no, no. I've never met him. Mm-hmm. I don't know him. I've never seen him before. Mm-hmm. Yes. So wewe story ilikupata kivipi? I just saw the post and guys shared it to my DM other people that I know other people that I respect like hey bro kwani what's good what's happening mm-hmm. we thought you were team <laughs> manchester since then it is supporting arsenal <laughs> i was like what so i clicked that i listened to the interview i was like now who who is this guy and uh, i saw dennis karuri and i know karuri i've interviewed him before mm-hmm. and it didn't sit well with me mm-hmm. because i had a lot of questions that i was asking myself I was like why would you choose to say such a thing number one, then why me mm-hmm. yes yeah, so in every other person that i know why me mm-hmm. so i came to a couple of conclusions one maybe because i was current and relevant mm-hmm. and i've been in a couple of scandals so it doesn't hurt to add another one on top of it mm-hmm. then they decided to do it for for hype or for clout as people call it mm-hmm. that is what i thought but i didn't see it well with it okay but in the beginning your comment uh ilika too kama you had not taken it very serious until after some time you uh, you said that you're going to in, uh, involve your legal team at the beginning maybe after you saw it did you try to reach out to him or your team no i don't need to reach out to him mm-hmm. because he wronged me he should reach out and apologize mm-hmm. Because what happened, I was having lunch with my kids, with my mom. My mom is around. Mm-hmm. So I saw them, and I, I sh- got shocked. I was like, what? Then I showed everybody on the table, my kids, my mom. They're like, what, what, what? Then I, I was writing. I was pissed. I was typing. Da, 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 my, my paragraph. I type a lot of paragraphs. Mm-hmm. And my mom was like, uh, you don't need to post uh, anything negative about it. Don't write anything. You're angry now. Relax. Think about it, then make a decision. Mm-hmm. So I kept quiet and then after I thought about it then I decided to just comment something light for the sake of the of the hype that was going with it. So I said, "Hey, mini team Roscoco, eh uh, I'm full lesbian. I don't roll like this." Mm-hmm. Some people took it nicely, some people took it negatively, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But then also <coughs> I started receiving a lot of insults in my DM. Mm-hmm. Uh, I normally receive insults on public forums in my dm once in a while most of people in my dm are just asking for help one way or another mm-hmm. support this support that but now I started receiving insults in my dm that were in a magnitude that i've never received before kwenda huko nini wewe shoga wewe nini mbwa nini like some very bad words mm-hmm. <coughs> from a lot of different people then i realized most of them were dming me with pseudos so I know they're just people either in my circle or people who just known and they're just DMing me. And then also I started having a lot of uh I started having a lot of DMs from uh other people who are LGBTQ who are also showing different types of interests. Mm-hmm. So I've had different I've had a, other people reach out like other men before but not to this magnitude mm-hmm. and I've always like always uh, I've always put a stop to it like they'll reach out you'll hear hey what's up obina da 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 some will don't will not tell you some will call you for lunch some will do whatever and I'm always even my fans when I meet them in a club or in an event some will come and tell you give you a compliment them like hey bro I don't roll like that mm-hmm. can be friends I respect you but let's maintain mm-hmm. I even have friends who are gay I have friends who are lesbians I have friends who are bi I have friends who are transgender da 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 I know a lot of them and it's always first value we are bros we are friends that's it but now my dm now changed like right? those guys either showing interest insulting me showing interest insulting i'm like ah this night's getting out of hand mm-hmm. so then i called my lawyer i was like yo what's good this and this happened then he's like what do you want us to do mm-hmm. yeah then he decided to reach out to him did a demand letter told him you have to do a video apologize because i realized maybe 
he's too young, so he doesn't know the implications of whatever I did. And then also if I decide I'll sue him, he doesn't have the money to pay me. Mm -hmm. One, for the damages that have already been created. Mm -hmm. Some jobs have been lost because of that situation, you know. But now I realize that he's too young, he's like my small bro mm -hmm. or something. Then I decided, let me just ask for an apology. So if he doesn't feel he, she, them, if them don't feel like they can do an apology, and then I can take the next step, which is now sue for damages and da 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 da. But the initial stage, I just said, I come in peace. Maybe you did it, it's a mistake. It's been done yet. Just apologize. Let people know I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And also I don't know you like that. And you've caused this harm, said the reason why you did it, and I'll leave it at that. Okay, as we speak, he already did an apology. No, no, no. no Have no, you no. seen it? No, that apology I didn't like it. My lawyer sent me, I didn't like it because he did it as a joke. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like reel. it's a joke? He did a reel. You don't see the reel? Mm -hmm. He did uh, some reel of something. It was real or TikTok. Mm -hmm. And then he posted there, you know, da, 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 da. Yes. The video saying that me and him are in a relationship was not like that. It was not a real. It was seated down. It was, yes, I did this person. Ha, ha, ha. Da, 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 da. Apology must come in the same, same energy mm -hmm. that the disrespect and the discredit came with. Okay. So, uh, as we speak, you've you cannot accept that apology. No, my lawyer already communicated, and he was to do another one today. I don't know if he's done it. Personally, honestly, I don't even have an issue with him or Dennis Karuri or any other person. Mm -hmm. I just felt like there are some jokes you don't pull. There are some, we have levels. You know, there are some things I can say about Eve, I can say about Trevor, whoever, whoever, but there are some things I can't say. It's like me now coming today and then saying I'm in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. And I know full well I'm not in a relationship with you. It can't. Mm -hmm. Yes, but now people normally have uh, this thing of concluding when they see people, like, let's say me and you are seen somewhere. We'll say, well, say, no, no, no. That's okay. That's speculation. Mm -hmm. But if I talk and say, you know, if Mungai and I are in a relationship, if Mungai bought me a house, if Mungai is buying that, the guys like, wait a minute. And of course, they start bashing you, they start bashing me, other people praise it. The damages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, what kind of an apology are you looking forward to see, maybe? A remorseful apology. Yes. But you know you cannot force someone to be remorseful. Yes, you can't. You can fake it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you faked the interview. Mm -hmm. Fake the remorse. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't now, it's going to get out of hand. Then now when it gets to the law and goes to court, now that's beyond me. Mm -hmm. I can't wake up one day and tell the lawyer or, or the judge, you know, judge, I've thought about it. Let me now, let's forgive. No. If it goes to court, now that one, every other thing now goes. There's liabilities, you have to be, you have to pay for the damages, you're liable for any other damage that's been caused to the brand. Mm -hmm. Because now that means you messed up with the brand and my brand is my breadwinner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so, uh, so far you and him, you've not been in, in any position to talk, no. only your lawyer have been communicating with him. No, we've, I, haven't, I didn't even speak to Dennis about it mm -hmm. because he's the one who said it. Whether they plan it, he's the one who said it and I didn't want to reach out to him because I also don't know him like that. And now I reach out to him, I'm, I say, what? I don't even have his number. So I slide in the DM. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So you're going to do me an apology? Ah. No, that's not going to happen. Let the lawyers handle it. If he has a lawyer, watch out on Yes. Okay, but uh, maybe the question that most people are asking, why you? Of course, there are many celebrities. Yep. Uh, there are even celebrities that uh, identify themselves with LGBTQ. Maybe he would have mentioned. Why do you think it was you in particular? Because I'm relevant. Mm -hmm. So that's what you feel? That's what I know. Mm -hmm. If you mention Obina anywhere, people will pay attention. Mm -hmm. Hey, Obina, me fanya nini? Hey, akona ototo ingine? Oh, another baby mama. <laughs> There's always that one. Like, there are people that if you mention their names, they're like, ah, oh, nani, oh, hamefanya? Ah, oh, okay, okay. But if you mention Obina, people are ready. My haters are ready to throw grenades. They're like, adi Obina, chak, eh, eh. Oh, ako kukanisa naomba, oh, oh, oh. But you like talking of haters. Why yeah. do you, be, you believe you have? I, have them. I don't believe, I know I have them. There are too many. Trust me. So, there's, there's something that most people don't realize. Mm -hmm. There's been a hierarchy of, of hate, mm -hmm. of hated celebrities. Wamekua wakikama, unaingia hapo, unapigwa zako, unatoka, unaingia, unatoka. So, by the time I started paying attention a lot to hate, ilikuwa bahati. Then, bati akatokanga, akawachia wili Paul. 
Then we lipo la kanyo roshwa. And I'll get about what they complete. So you'll get about this small, like, you know, or the care member who are making a new, no, no, no. You know, now, eh, I'm going to say, where? So we lipo la kanyo roshwa. I love about the Karuda Nakachukwa. Chinia Kapo. Studia Kana Diana B. Na everything, everything. And then Jalasa Kachukwa. And then Jalasa Kangara, Kangara, Kangara. And then when you're later to Jalasa CV. Ah, kuna mutu mwina obina, kaa mkuja, kuja, kuja, kaa kwa kiti. Mm -hmm. So currently I'm seated on that throne. <laughs> yeah, the throne of hate. So it, it is cool currently to hate on me, it's cool to diss anything How I do. How do you know you have haters me? Because you see, Eve, it's not an assumption, you see. So when, when a post is done and it's something positive, guys don't talk. Mm -hmm. If it's something negative, they talk. Look at my social media, study the trends. If I post a picture of me now, come and chapa. Comments are five hundred. Nikki post picture of any me piga luku even in Mengara. Comments come twenty kisonga sana. Nasaba nizileza. You can't believe how good I. <laughs> the things I discovered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, like now people feel, even the people who like me genuinely, uh, uh, they, they fear the repercussions of, hey, if I comment nicely, what I come kusema. If they are ladies, if they comment, what on a good chin, I come as I say, my emenda, emenda. If it's a guy, guys are like, oh, LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. Like, so guys are like, eh, hey, hey, watch a kidogo, watch a tutulia kidogo because, yes, yeah, so they're always there. Even if my post is done on your page, even this video. Go look at the comments. Mm -hmm. You'll just see some random person just come and say, Iki mutu kina jiskianga sana. Someone who's never met me, they don't know how I behave, where I am, what I do, how I live, how I relate with people. So my comments are a video. Utona tu. And then utona mutu kumna msema, I'm just here for the comments. So someone you wale wanangojanga, they are haters, but they are afraid to hate, but they want to wait for other people to hate. And then, I yes, I was waiting for these comments. And then there's that one for, they always wait for for someone to talk, but then they come, they put fire emojis but below that person's comment. So they can't hate on you directly, but they support the negativity that's being channeled your way. Mm -hmm. You see, then you have the people from pseudo accounts, mm -hmm. then you have the people that know you also have pseudo, but they also just come and just comment there mm -hmm. for the fun. Then you have people who comment badly for the fun of it. Ah, we kwenda uko sura mbaya wewe. Amesema tu kama jokes. Basa kuna mtu mwenye yako hapo, eh nyewe aki kinapangasha. There's all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I see them, I look at the comments sometimes, they are there. Okay, but don't you think you focusing on the hate too much uh, in a funny way on the other side of people who love you? Because I remember when they last left Kiss, so many people were like, Obina should get this thing, and so many people supported you. Uh, why can't you maybe concentrate on the love side? No, I'm not focusing on the hate. I just said I see them. Mm -hmm. If I was focusing on the hate, I could have killed myself a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They are there, I see them. I acknowledge them mm -hmm. because when I say manga, put your enemies closer. I always, I'm always ready for whatever they will say. Like even when I got the kiss job, you're saying people are, yes, there are some people who are supporting, but there are people who are just like, ah, even until today, mm -hmm. it's been one year, there are people who are still, ah, yeah, 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 you can never feel your Lango's shoes. I'm like, listen, I didn't want to feel his shoes. I came with my shoes and I can never feel, I can never be him. Mm -hmm. We are different people. Ah, you didn't deserve this. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Until today, mm -hmm. we still have those people. But we focus on the good ones mm -hmm. who the problem is normally negative news travels faster and negative news is more noticeable. Sure. And negative news affects you more than positive news. Like today, like 10 men or all of us here will tell you, hey, if you're like you're smart, you're like you're smart. Then downstairs, there's just one person who can be like, hey, naive, you that is the only thing you'll remember. You'll be like, Aki, nini bana huyo? Na vini nyuele? Utole za trefa, babe. Inyo langu. That's the way it happens. You'll see like a thousand good comments. Then one person asema, tu iki kimutu wata kigongo endagari kikufe. Ukutu zile, ayi. Mbono ya nakani gongo endagari. That's the way it happens. Negative news always tends to stick more. Ni kuna tuka uchafu tu kenye ya katokangi. So you, they'll always stand out. Most of the time you'll not see the positive comments. It's like sometimes when I do my songs, you'll see... Two people, two, three people will hate. But that's what people see. People don't see the other 10 comments that are positive. Mm -hmm. It's like the song I've done currently, Friday night. Mm -hmm. That song is a banger. That song is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everything. I even shot it here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I shot it here. That song is beautiful. But if you look at the comments, all of them, dope. But 
what are other people saying two three other guys ah wacha kuimba bwana ah na 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 huna talent they will say that they will say they will say whatever they want to say but does it mean the song is not fire it does not mean that the song is still fire but what will people uh, focus on the negative people never come and say oh my god oh that song oh you know we've seen uh, 50 comments are positive there are three that are negative no 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 sema ai le ngoma kuna watu wamechukia talking of uh, you've mentioned about keys and people feeling like you've never feel jealous shoes yeah. uh, i'd like to know how how is your chemistry with combox there are so many people who keep questioning it uh, we are not as vibrant as you guys were with kamene no post yani We can see the difference it's noticeable how can you say it <laughs> ah what i would say is this mm-hmm. i don't want to talk about kiss why because i feel no matter what you say people will always judge and conclude the way they want combox is not kamene kamene is not combox i am not jealous jealous is, jealous is not me so there are things combox does better than kamene there are things kamene does better than combox uh different organizations have different goals mm-hmm. maybe the direction they are going uh, with me and Kwambox is not the same direction they are going with me and Kamene mm-hmm. and is not the direction they are going with Kamene and Jolas and so on and so forth mm-hmm. so when you compare the two you expect them to deliver the same they can't even today if you have a kind you buy a new tire it will not function as the others but they are all driving the same car they will function differently mm-hmm. yeah you enjoying the moment Yeah, we have our moments. We have our moments where you're like that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, moving forward you've mentioned about you and uh your music career. Yeah. It's something that has been getting a lot of uh critics. So many people have been criticizing you. I'd like to know. You see what you said, what I just said? Mm-hmm. You are saying so many people have been mm-hmm. now the person who's watching will have that perception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't do that. Not so many. Mm-hmm. Some people I've been criticizing. Yes. I'd like to know like you know Bina we've seen you on radio, we've seen you do comedy. This passion of you and music, Ili Tokawapi, and where do you see yourself when it comes to music and what's your opinion on how our musicians are paid? You shared your ulipewa ni 250 something. Okay. So I started music very young, I think in primary school. I used to do the traditional songs in school. I was the one who was going in front saying, "Ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. in front of you is Eluabe Primary School with a dance entitled Amutibo." Then you go back. So I started then. Then in high school we evolved into hip hop. And I was calling myself MG and I was you know, you was good. G G G G in and no shoes, nigga, get an old shoe, nigga, like now we are vibing. It was a wave. Then now when I started finishing high school, I think I gelled because hip hop was not paying. So I had to go mainstream. Then I started doing more of dancehall. Then I was called MGZ. So I did dancehall for a while and MGZ is actually what made Obina. So this is what happened. So I used to be a national theater uh, doing a show they are called The Factory Club. A couple of people were small. Willie Paul was taking Alikiba songs and as he changed in a gospel and kuja hapa na hivyo anafanya hivi shingo yake. Aro boy had a crew called QB crew there were three guys walikuwa na uza samaki pale city market wana kama hapo unapatia chance nini pia mimi niko hapo naimba tunaimba si wote we are too many were a couple of guys there then jealous you sit somewhere there it was called wasani restaurant kwa ni toa ina kapo you mm. no sasa ime change it's not the wasani that oh. yeah so as you used to sit pale chini ya mugumo tree we could not go up there when you went up there you had either been called with someone or you're going to meet someone briefly no nena mkubwa anaweza kuona kidogo Yes. So while that was happening, uh Jalas you sit up there and look at us down here doing our thing. So there's a song of mine it was called Shake Them. It was a dancehall song. I've already redone the video. I'll release it sooner or later. Uh Jalas used to like it. Then he used to call me and anambi mjize. Niko na event. Kuja wimbe ile wimbo yako. So I would go there. I would see it you will host the corporate event and then you'll say there's this guy I want to introduce to you guys ni 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 come then I come I rock that song shake them shake them make me feel nice so I was representing you know yeah and then so while well, this was happening I was sitting down and I was, so around this time I was to am corner for Fredo Mondi as Fredo Mondi's KYM I used to live in his sitting room like we're best friends 
So I also used to learn a lot from Fred because he was hosting in clubs. He was doing mostly clubs. Mm -hmm. So I used to get both exposure. So when Jalas calls me for corporate, I will sit down and look at what he's doing. And then when you're with Fred this side, I'll also gain the club. Then I also start hosting Pole Pole Club. And when you host, jokes was in a come. You have to be a little bit, you know, hilarious. What we're checking. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. I was going to check out what I'm doing this. So I'm like, let me do both. So I started doing both. Somehow after, I'll just fast forward the story. So there was QFM Comedy Night. I did QFM Comedy Night. I was the best performer that night. We were all of my category of comedians. Mm -hmm. Myself, Chipukizi, Fred Omondi, da 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 da. Even Eric Omondi was there. But I was the best that day for whatever reason. So I got contacted by Esther Masharia from QFM. Then ended up in QFM as an intern. Then I started doing radio. Obina came up, the home run, da 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 da, until now. So while that was happening, you know, it's very hard to serve two masters. One normally outweighs the other. Mm -hmm. So the comedy came and then it started paying bills and I focused more on it. And I took a backseat on the music. I didn't stop. I've always done videos. I have over 50 music videos. I've always done my song and I do plus a video. I just post for my fans who knew me from then. Mm -hmm. But now the ones who are discovering me now are like, but see me, we talk about comedy. You know, we prefer the comedy. It's okay. Whatever you prefer, consume that. It's like in a supermarket. I was thinking of a supermarket, they say, oh, your mimi is very important, I'm not talking to you. No, no, I can't tell you. You're here for the comedy, take the comedy. You're here for the socialite, take socialite. You're here for the drama, take the drama. You're here for the music, take the music. It's a cocktail. Then also music, I came to learn something about music. It is, uh, it is a skill. Mm -hmm. There's a video I want you guys to watch. And I've said this thing in another interview before. Just Google Ed Sheeran starting music live interview. He was in some interview mm -hmm. and then he played an audio of how he used to sound when he was starting music. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it was terrible. But Ed Sheeran right now, mm -hmm. absolute money. It takes time. It takes experiment, experience. You do different things. Then finally, you get to get it. Mm -hmm. And I've also said many times, I've had a lot of people who are very shitty voices and they've done hit songs. It's never about the voice. <laughs> There's always a lot of science that goes behind a hit song. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's timing, sometimes it's hype, sometimes it's just a catchy beat, sometimes it's a wave that comes. It depends. It depends with the time or sometimes the person. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to mention anybody, but let me just put it out there. Mm -hmm. Do you think if Steve or Simple Boy looked like me, mm -hmm. do you guys, would you guys be fucking with him? Just be honest to yourself. Like it was an obina, and I just come and say, Nico Freshi Barida, Wajama, Freshi Barida, Venema, Nico Freshi Barida, Mimi, Nabibi, Mini, Wella, Wella, Mini, Malele. And I look like this. Would you fuck with me? Think about it for a minute. Not from a head point perspective, but sometimes that's what I'm saying. So do you want to say this TV doesn't have a talent? I've not said anything. Like I always say all the time, I'm not the one to come and say this person has or this person does not. Mm -hmm. Music has nothing to do with talent. That is what most people don't understand. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that happens. It, nearly everything people do has nothing to do with talent. Talent plays like 10%. 90% is the other work that you put through. Mm -hmm. I've met people, Eve, that have talent from here till Timbuktu, but nobody's listening to them. I've had people when they sing, Ah, Beyonce, Kainda, Ikao, Baba, Dogo. But nobody's listening to them. And I've had people when they sing, I'm like, ah, okay, how did this person become a superstar? I've been in studio sessions with big superstars, and I hear them record, I'm just like, okay. They record with words. And I come and say, eh! Then I'm like, yeah, Koja Kidogo. I find your trainer, eh! Then the producer, I find your yake. Yes, so there's a lot that goes into music. It's never about the talent. It's about the work that you put besides the talent. You can have the talent, yes. But will the talent record for you a song? Will the talent market for you the song? Will the talent pub publicize for you the song? Mm -hmm. Will it transverse the whole universe because of talent? That is, it happens once in a while. That's why I said it. it's normally about timing. There's someone who will just do like that kid who did the song for, he was training in TikTok about a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. There's some small kid who was singing in a classroom somewhere. And that video went viral and guys were resampling the jam and everything. Lord, I thank you, da, 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 something, something. That, say, thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain, na, 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 na. That, that, he's a big boy now. That video was recorded a while ago, but now it's when, and the producers, music ex executives are like, wait, I mean, that guy's talent, let's look for that guy. Because now is when his star has just started to shine. Mm -hmm. 
That's also what happens. That's all they say, I'll do music for me. I feel good when I do music, I'll do it for me. If it makes you feel good, well. If it doesn't, focus on what makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. But one day, maybe after I'm dead or maybe when I'm still alive, I'll do one song. And with music, you just have to get it right once. Mm -hmm. That's also the advantage. Mm -hmm. You have to get it right once. I'll do one song. Mm -hmm. It might be this song that has currently come out, might be one that I already did, or might be one that I will do. Guys go like, yo, umeskia, hee, hee, straight flames. And then that song will just blow, and every, people will start looking back to everything I did. Like, oh, come this guy, oh, come here, they'll focus. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. I always prefer, prepare for the worst case scenario. But it's a matter of time. And that's the thing that I have. Okay, so talking of returns, like you got 258 bob. Nah, stop shouting. Why are you shouting, <laughs> eh? <laughs> like, you know, you're investing a lot, of yeah. course, on the videos, yep. audios. You don't mind? I don't mind because I'm doing it for me. And I've always told many other musicians who always DM me, bro, Nico, na talent, na takatuku record studio, I love na kwa superstar. It doesn't happen like that. Before I became Obina the comedian, I did music for, I think, five years. Like professionally, like I'll go with club show, kuna show up, kuna event, wapi, kuna fika up, kuna MC, na fasi, maze tu, tu roge roge kidogo, niti pati mic, kuna shika mic, kuna represent nini. I did songs with Fred Homondi when he was still a comedian. I was a full musician. We did a song called Antonina, we did a song called Gold Digger. I did songs with a couple of other people. I did a song with Calligraph. Back then, you see, so it's normally the thing for, why are you doing the music? If you're doing it for money, you might need to call yourself a kamukutano kidogo, maybe the money might not come. Because even the A-list musicians, they're not making the money you think they're making from music. Mm -hmm. Music in Kenya does not pay the way it should. You saw how much BN got. Do you know how big BN is? Mm -hmm. You know you guys muna chezanga tuna BN apa. Nyi ya muna idea bana. BN is a beast. Alitumia dongapi? 14. 14. Hata bangi BN anavuta 14,000. Don't shit. You see, mm -hmm. BN is, is a beast, and he's been in the music talking to Lazizi Wangue, Zawadi Nano Kutoka Bingu. This, I, my friend, and then you send BN 14? Are you, are you normal? <laughs> so, music in Kenya Kidogo, tricky. If you want money, you'll go to the national markets or maybe streaming platforms, like in a Spotify and the likes. But also, it might not give the same. If it happens even in YouTube, the amount of money we are paid as content creators in YouTube in Kenya or in Africa is not the same as the ones international. Mm -hmm. So music, if you're doing it in Kenya as the breadwinner, think Kidogo. Mm -hmm. Yes, so do it for fun. It might shika. You might get some money from it. But all of us who, most of us, who are Kenyan superstars from either music or comedy or everything, we just live average lives. There's nothing wrong about it. You'll drive an average car marry an average woman, or get married to an average man, you know, live in an average house, mm -hmm. you know, wear average clothes, da 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 da. There's nothing that, there's a day someone will come and say, Buddha no join, you 100 million, do you mm -hmm. Will never happen, not in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Not the way the system, systems are, not the way it's set up. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, I'll do music, I'll put money in it, I'm not looking at, for returns, like cash based, but it's also giving me returns somehow. It's giving me happiness, mm -hmm. giving me, uh, it's like me going to the gym. I go to the gym because I enjoy being in the gym. It's not like I'm going to the gym, you know, Kesha, I tell me. No, Nikki, for a Nikki, when a body, moja feet, tipia, well. But before that happens, I'm enjoying the process. So by the time I arrive to the destination or I don't arrive to the destination, I enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. That's what most people forget as an artist, enjoy the journey. The creative process, recording, shooting, doing the shows, asking for interviews, begging people for collabs on Akunyima, begging people for shows, enjoy that whole process. So if you go do one day, you sit on that throne like this, you'll be like, eh, bro, ni metoka fa. Lakini kama you're just struggling, you know, na fika ukombele na enjoy. You might not fika ukombele. Enjoy it now. Wow. As we conclude, uh, Obina, maybe you can tell us uh, what's the last thing you'd say to Johnny and maybe to someone who was maybe planning in the future <coughs> to use your name. Are you planning maybe to be going the legal way to people who are club chasing you with your name? Okay. For Johnny, do the right thing. You know what you need to do. For any other person, before you decide to spread rumors or malice about someone else's name or brand or image or likeness or anything. Think of the repercussions. It might be cool to hate on someone, it might be cool to, to corner someone, it might be cool to slander someone until women do shikwe. 
Doing it in numbers is always fun. And online, to can any numbers. Da, 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 da. Nini, 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 nini. Then kuna tu moja. Wezi jue tangukia nga nani. Uyo tu moja na itanga lambia kuja hapa. Kapa kidogo. Ulikuna se maji. Then sasa unakuwa funzo. That is what you should be very careful with. And like myself, most of the time, you've seen my history. When someone will do something about me, I'll come out and I'll talk about it. No, you should not do this. And when I talk about it, I'm always out quoted. They'll say I spoke out of pocket. I'm very I'm egocentric. I'm a narcissist. I'm whatever. I'll be branded all these names because I try to defend myself. So I've decided I'm, I'll not be defending myself. I'll be keeping quiet, but I'll be dealing with people by the law. You'll not see a lot of things. In, I'll not even post. I'll just see this person. I say, da, 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 da. Okay. My lawyer, sha. Mm -hmm. So I know what to say sometimes. It's not worth it. Yes. If you don't have information, don't talk about it. If you don't have facts, don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. If you have facts, talk about it in a factual way. It's good to be a critic. It's okay to be a hater if it makes you feel good. But be a hater who has a purpose. Mm -hmm. Don't just hate for the sake of hating. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you let on Obina. Obina has a strong back. He can take it. You let on someone else. And that person will take their life. Or something will happen. Why? Because you did. You just decided. I've gone online. I'm going to go 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 online. Then that person takes their life. Mm -hmm. The blood is in your hands. So be very careful what you say, be very careful what you post. Mm -hmm. Because everything we do, this generation, by the way, the internet is good. It's exposing us. But also remember, the internet does not forget. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, I think we'll stop at this point. I would like maybe to know, do you have uh, that, feeling, that feeling that maybe you'd like to talk to your fans who felt like probably it was the truth or you just want to leave it at that point? My fans who felt... If you are my fan, you would know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trust me. If you are my fan, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm for lesbian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you are my fan, you know. You've seen, like, evidence everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, I like big things, like things that occupy space and have weight. Mm -hmm. I matter. <laughs> yes. Na penda dim neza muona. Kika hapa, unenda kwa kitchen, ukule, ah, babe. Uko hapa? Unenda kwa bedroom, ukule, ah, babe. Sini mekwata kwa kitchen. Yani, she's all over the place. That's my spec. So when you feel, you're like, I know, I'll be na. Bro, ni kona watoto wa ne? Singe kwa na watoto ya tamoja. Yeah, yeah. So I, I totally respect other people's preferences and choice and identities. Mm -hmm. However you identify as or whatever you prefer, I respect it and also respect mine. I prefer ladies. I prefer showies. I prefer fine things, fine girls. Mm -hmm. And if you're my fan, you would know. And I don't think it will never happen that I would ever... Uh, swing on the other side. No, not in this life. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you so much, Obina. We really appreciate for your time. Uh, guys, I'll try and get Johnny so that you can get to hear his side of the story. Probably he has his own reasons. Just tell him to apologize. Mm -hmm. It's the easier way out mm -hmm. for him. Ah. Maybe he's watching this. Uh, we will see. Anyway, guys, it has been the Mungai Eve Show. In case you're watching this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You like, you share. We meet the next one.